So before the year ends, I'm gonna try something a little different. If you saw me on live stream, you probably already know this, but for next year's videos, I wanted you guys to have something pretty to look at. You know, while we continue our journey in Unreal 5. Up to this point, I've just had this fantasy knight character, and I think he's pretty cool, but I also think it's time for a little change in scenery. So I have spent the last few days working on fixing the original Archer demo character from my ZBrush series and try and make it compatible for our Unreal 5 system. Now, as I was doing this, a couple of you asked me in the comments if I could show you what that process looks like. Basically, how do you go from a base body to a full character to Unreal 5? And since essentially I was going to have to do the entire process for this character anyways, I figured that this time I'm just going to record the whole thing and narrate and explain the process here for you guys. Kind of think of it like a end of the year bonus series. This kind of workflow demonstration has been a video series that I've kind of wanted to do for a while, but the reason I haven't done it yet is because, well, simply put, I can't show you guys how to create a new character without showing you how to adjust a base body. And I can't show you how to adjust a base body without showing you a naked body and as soon as I do that I have to mark the video as containing sexual content and because of that the algorithm is probably gonna shove it under the rug because it's not family friendly so nobody's gonna find it it won't get many views and it would also require about 50 times more time and effort than any of my normal three-minute videos that would probably get more views so basically from the perspective of a youtuber the content puts me in a very dangerous position with the algorithm as far as views and monetization goes and there really isn't too much for me to gain and quite a lot to lose while also requiring a lot more effort. So up to this point, I just kind of refrained from doing those kind of tutorials. But after looking around and noticing that there really aren't too many videos out there that take you through and demonstrate the entire process, and the ones that I have found kind of leave out a few details that you probably want to know when you're going specifically to Unreal 5. So for the few of you out there that really need this information and you can't find it anywhere else, I'm doing it for you. I'm not really expecting to gain anything from this series. It might be a little bit risky and it's probably not good for my channel channel, but I think this information is important for everyone, so here we go. That being said, if you enjoy this kind of content and information, or you think that it's important to make available for other people, please consider leaving a like, comment, or subscribing. For those of you that want to be heroes, I have Patreon, YouTube, and Coffee membership perks available, but if you just want to support for free, just leaving a like, comment, and subscribing goes a really long way and helps put us in good light with the algorithm. If you would like to leave a comment but you don't know what to say, just type algo for the algorithm. If you're a member, then I've given you a special emoji just for that reason. So just drop one of those if you're bored. It's free, simple, fast, and it tells YouTube that people interact with my videos and it helps other people find them. So I just wanted to let you guys know that the next few vids, I will be explaining the entire process of, of how to take a base body, turn it into a full character from beginning to end, and export it to Unreal 5 in a way that is perfectly compatible with the default mannequin. If people like it, maybe I'll do it some more. So that is what we're going to be covering in the next few days because this is something i've really wanted to show you guys for a long time so please look forward to that and as always thanks for watching hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you around